Hello everybody, my name is Juan Roldan, I am from Colombia and today I would like to talk about how an extreme weather event which cannot be related to climate change but due to our emissions is contributing to this global problem. As I said before, I live in Colombia, a country located in the northwest part of South America. It has a population of over 45 million inhabitants. Due to its geographic location, Colombia is a tropical country, and we only have two seasons, dry and rainy months. The first period of rain starts at the middle of March with its highest peak in April. The second rainy period begins at middle of September with its highest peak in November or October. This rain pattern is well defined but there is an external variable that changes this situation and that is El Niño or La Niña phenomenon. There are two main variables that define the weather in Colombia. The most important one is the orographic system, which refers to the elevation of the terrain. In this case, as you can see from the picture, the Andes mountain range crosses Colombia in three different mountain systems. So, the altitude of the mountains defines the temperature and modifies other weather, weather variables. Another external variable that defines weather in Colombia is the warming of the southern Pacific Ocean, well known as the ENSO, El Niño Southern Oscillation. Different to what happens in other Latin American countries, when the Pacific waters warm, rainfall decreases in Colombia. This phenomenon began in 2015 and its effects in rainfall patterns are finally diminishing. The problem that I want to talk about is how reduction in rainfall may affect the air quality in a city like mine that is surrounded by mountains and when atmospheric stability takes place. The low air quality is mainly caused by the emissions of pollutants coming from the mo mobile sources, which are estimated in 80%. Meanwhile, stationary sources contribute with 20%. These pictures illustrate the air pollution residents have to deal with. In these other pictures, we can appreciate the most critical event of air pollution that we had ever experienced. As mentioned before, environmental authorities estimate 80% of air pollutants come from mobile sources. This pollution event lasted a couple of days. In order to re-establish the situation, authorities had to implement these two major policies. Day without circulation of private cars and free entrance to the public transport system. Medellin is so far the only city in Colombia with the most diverse and integrated transport system, so this environmental situation caused a great surprise for everyone. The city has two-line metro system with an integrated bus system, two cable cars, a new tram and a public bicycle system. Even though Medellin public transport system, there are many people who still prefer driving their own cars rather than making use of the public transport. 
So here resides the challenge that policymakers have, changing people's culture regarding transportation, and th this can be achieved by improving the system every year, offering reasonable fees, extending the public system to other areas of the city, improving diesel quality, supporting new technologies such as electric vehicles, supporting the use of bicycles, and building adequate infrastructure, among others. What type of actions can make a difference? If I were a policymaker, I would propose to improve the integrated public transport system and by this I mean to build new lines of the metro system or building other types of high capacity public transportation systems. The main challenges in implementing these suggestions are political will and financial support. As an active and concerned resident who is affected by the problem, I would encourage people, neighbors and friends to use the current public transport system, which comprises metro system, cable car, tram, integrated bus system and public bicycles. I would anticipate people complaining because they will have to walk to a station of the current public transportation system and they would feel uncomfortable by traveling with many people. Policymakers would support encouraging people by making use of the public transportation system. Whose problem is it? Climate change is a problem that concerns all of us. We are contributing to it with the emissions of mobile sources. What we can do is to reduce using our own cars and make a better use of the public transportation system. Policymakers should implement policies for promoting the use of public transport system, reduce the fees of this system, improve the system every year. Thank you so much for watching the video.